Hello everybody, welcome to Honors Grad U. My name is Brittany. And I'm Ashley. And today we are talking about our movie club and book club. Yes, of the month, Ender's Game. So the premise of the novel and the movie is surrounding Ender Wiggin and he is like in this time where it's like, is it post-apocalyptic? Is it the future? Uh, I don't know if it's post-apocalyptic, but it is the future. It's oh, right. after a war, but it's not necessarily an ap apocalyptic war. It's just war with aliens has happened. And uh, it was a very big, huge, scary war. And so when Ender's story takes place is they're preparing uh, to strike at these aliens before they have a chance to get back at them for beating them before. And uh, Ender, as well as several other children, have been selected for their brilliance and their skill to become leaders. Or not. <laughs> I don't know if we're spoiling that or not. Uh, well, it is a journey through his process of becoming or not becoming the soldier that they want, basically. Right. The soldier needed to do the job, right. even though he's a child. Uh, it's a very interesting premise. It's a popular book written by Orson Orson. Scott Card. Yeah. yeah. So now we're going to start with our critique of the acting and the actors. So Ender was played by Asa Butterfield. Found out he was British, which was super surprising. Very impressive also. Yeah. This kid just is brilliant at American was, accent. We had no idea. No idea. I thought the acting was phenomenal overall, so he was a great actor. I mean, I think he was born in 97, so that's yeah, fairly 16. young. 16, yeah. I thought he was brilliant. He definitely um, had much more of a personality than I feel like Ender had in the book, <laughs> which was a plus in my mind, because <laughs> that drove me nuts about Ender yeah. in the book. Um, but I, but aside from the difference between the movie and the book, I, he's just a brilliant actor. Mm -hmm. I believed every single thing about him, and I... Can't wait to see what else he does. So Harrison Ford played Colonel Graff, and he did a great job. I I I loved the acting. I have, I say it again, like I, I thought the acting was phenomenal in this movie. You totally get the urgency um, of the situation. They're trying really yeah. hard to find the perfect commander to lead their army, and they feel like they only have this much time. And um, you you can see the terror as mm -hmm. he you know takes commands. It's sort of counterintuitive, but right. it makes total sense when Harrison Ford is doing it, like most things. Yeah, so something that was different from the movie and the book, though, is that there wasn't as much urgency, I don't think, in the book no, as, as there is in the movie, which is understandable because the movie, it has to be urgent because it's in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. They really don't have time to... Yeah, well, and the book takes place over a series of years, yeah. whereas the movie takes place, I think it's only one month that they say they have from the time Ender gets there yeah. to the time they finished the yeah. movie. Are we spoiling it or not? I, <laughs> I don't say. know. I don't know. But there is a lapse of time. You can tell like each day he trains yeah. or whatever. You can tell there's a long gap between the next experience. Mm -hmm. But oh, for the most part, it's all condensed, which is great for a movie and for action mm -hmm. and for making a movie that's really epic. I didn't complain about it. I thought it was a good way to adapt to yeah. the film. Yep, and then we had Haley Steinfeld who played Petra, who I liked her acting. I didn't like the portrayal of the character as much. I didn't remember it being annoying. I felt in the book, and I felt that it was a little bit obtrusive in the movie. I felt like she was... Well, I kept turning to Ashley and being like, ugh, I hate this, I don't want to watch this scene, because they're okay. being all gooey. Let me just say something here. Petra is supposed to be replacement Valentine. Valentine yeah. is Ender's sister. But Brittany kept getting upset because she felt like these brother-sister scenes were translating more as I've got a crush on you scenes. Yeah. And, you know, young teen love is weird. Next is the cinematography. I am not a huge, like, alien sci-fi person. I don't mind sci-fi, but I have a hard time with aliens. And so I didn't particularly think that the scenes were all that beautiful, but I recognized the beauty in them, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I thought they were gorgeous. Um, I thought that the anti-gravity simulator that's in the book was exactly how I pictured it, which was super fun for me. I personally am I'm not going to seek out that kind of sci-fi, but I can recognize the beauty and the creativity and the artistry in it. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I actually hate sci-fi the majority of the time, but I enjoyed Ender's Game. Okay, so on to the writing. I thought it was really well written. I think the movie was really well writ written. I think that the only plot problem that I had was it seemed a little bit rushed, which made certain points seem abrupt. Mm -hmm. 
But other than that, I think it was well written. I mean, the acting was phenomenal, which has half, I guess, to do with the writing, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah, and like I said before, I don't actually really like sci-fi most of the time. There are very few instances where I find that appealing. Uh, but when it came to the book Ender's Game, what made it special was the amazing character development. Uh, I thought that, that was kind of the only draw to the book initially, and uh, it was definitely one of the biggest reasons that I enjoyed it. And part of the tragedy of translating from book to screen is that you don't have enough time to get all of that development. And so while we do have Ender's great journey from beginning to end, it doesn't have quite as much depth as the book. And most of the other characters don't have as much of a journey or any journey at all. They're just characters that are pretty consistent throughout. And I don't see that as a problem for the movie as a standalone project, uh, but some people might complain about that being different. I think so too. I think that the feeling and emotion and the end goal of Ender's Game, the book, was definitely in the movie. Yeah. And I think that's the most important thing, right? Yeah. I agree. So the critical review is what we're, we're going to do now, and I'd say the book, critically, as far as it was written, I would give it a 4 out of 5, and I think for the movie I'd also give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, I think I would probably give the book 3.5 out of 5. The movie I would give a 4 out of 5 because it actually improved on some of the issues that I had with the book. On to our personal review, how it made us feel personally. I thought the whole thing was extremely exciting. I thought it was extremely gripping and dramatic and I would say epic even. And I think it was, I mean I was on my, the edge of my seat the whole second half of the movie. I mean the ending was amazing. Mm -hmm. I'd probably give it a 5 out of 5 for personal enjoyment. Yeah, and I felt the same way. It was very stressful, it was very emotional. Um, like we said before when we were talking about the acting, I believed every single oh, yeah. thing about Ender and I felt for him when he was crying and wanted to cry. <laughs> and it was a very powerful movie, I thought. And yeah. so um, just emotional response, I would agree 5 out of 5 because it was just fantastic. And don't listen to my husband, he fell asleep watching it. I don't think anyone could possibly fall asleep watching this movie, but he can fall asleep during anything, so we'll, well just... Well, we did go to the midnight showing, That's so true. maybe we can blame it on that. <laughs> I do think it's a worthwhile read. If you enjoyed the book, and you can see them as two separate entities, you will enjoy the movie. I think, conversely, that if you enjoy the book, or enjoy the movie, that you should give the book a chance, because yes. they give so much more detail into the characters. And I is... think you'll appreciate the depth more, and since yeah. you'll know where it's going, you won't get as bored with some of the side notes. Clearly we recommend that to you, and every month we do a book club and a movie club. Next month is your pick. This is my pick for the month. Yeah. It'll be awesome. You guys, feel free to join in our book club. You can send us video responses. You can tweet us. You can post on our blog anything you like, which you can find all the links to all of that down below. And there's the sanitation that you can even click right here to go to the blog. And that's all I have to say. My name's Brittany. My name's Ashley. Thanks for watching.